Hello friends. Imagine, before your eyes there's a world, where everything seems frozen, yet every stone speaks. Where time appears to stand still, but within every rock lies a story of millions of years. This is Mars, a planet that appears silent, but its stones, its soil, and its redness tell countless stories. Curiosity Rover and Perseverance Rover are not just capturing pictures on this red land anymore. They're rewriting the history of science. If you are visiting this channel for the first time, then welcome to a world where we give voice to the secrets of the universe. Subscribe now, like the video, and share it with your friends. So these stories are not just heard, but felt. In today's video, we'll talk about something that will truly amaze you. And don't forget to tell us in the comments. Whoever's name gets highlighted, I'll be sure to mention it in the next comment. Hidden in the soil of Mars is the color once seen at the dawn of Earth. This redness comes from iron oxide, a compound that causes rust on Earth, but on Mars, paints an entire world red. But it's not just color. Scientists have discovered that beneath this red soil lie countless mineral layers containing silica, sulfates, carbonate compounds, and some unknown elements never before seen on any planet. These discoveries have stunned scientists, revealing that the surface of Mars is truly a chemical wonder. The rocks of Mars are very different from those of Earth. When Curiosity captured these images through its Mastcam Z camera, scientists saw that these rocks were not mere stones, but colorful books of layered history. Some rocks are what we call basaltic rock, the same kind formed by volcanic activity meaning Mars was once a volcanic world. Some rocks contain components named olivine and pyroxene, minerals that form only from deep, molten magma on Earth. This discovery shows that Mars's interior was once hot, molten, and immensely powerful. According to NASA, in recent missions on Mars, some rocks have been found with spherical grains within their layers. These grains are called microlayered minerals, indicating that the Martian surface once went through complex chemical processes. But the most astonishing finding is that beneath these rocks, some particles show traces of organic compounds. These aren't proofs of life, but ancient chemical signatures suggesting that natural processes on Mars once resembled those of Earth, but in a different form. NASA's Mars Perseverance rover recently made a new discovery, which NASA called Shock Veins Discovery. These fine lines run through rocks, and they form when quakes or cosmic impacts occur. This shows that Mars's surface was never calm, it was a world of shocks, explosions, and collisions. Some rocks even show marks caused by meteor impacts, meaning Mars once faced showers of small celestial bodies. NASA's scientists recently found that in Mars's northern region lies Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the entire solar system, and some areas of it still show thermal activity. This means Mars might not be a completely dead planet. Like Earth, it might still hold some energy beneath the surface. This new discovery has astonished both NASA and ESA. Curiosity's camera also spotted some magnetized rocks near Mount Sharp, with unusual iron structures. These magnetic stones reveal that Mars once had a strong magnetic field, which later disappeared, a crucial element for sustaining life. ESA's Marsis radar system revealed that beneath the Martian surface lie several kilometers of rocky layers. These layers are made of high-density minerals containing rare combinations of nickel, iron, silicon, and magnesium, a mix not found anywhere on Earth. This shows that Mars's chemical makeup is unique. These rocks were formed billions of years ago, deep inside the planet, 
and are now slowly rising to the surface. Curiosity collected some of these samples, known as sample caches. They will be brought back to Earth in future missions where they could unlock Mars's ancient past. When we look at the rocks of Mars, we're not just seeing a surface, we're witnessing time itself. Every rock, every crack, tells a story of a changing environment. Mars was once warm, powerful, and full of energy. Then slowly it became cold, silent, and barren. That's the cycle all worlds follow. Life, energy, and decay, turning endlessly in the wheel of time. The view you see is not just sand and stone, it's the reflection of time. The rocks of Mars are books where the secrets of the cosmos are written. NASA scientists say, when we read the rocks of Mars, we're actually understanding our own past. Because perhaps, Earth too was once like this planet. And when humankind sets foot on Mars, by touching those stones, they won't just discover a new world, but their own story. Imagine, close your eyes for a moment, and picture a world where beneath every rock sleep millions of years of stories. This is Mars, a planet silent on the outside, but within, it still whispers. In late 2024, NASA's Perseverance rover discovered a new layer on Mars' surface. Seemingly ordinary rocks, but upon closer look, astonishing secrets were revealed. These stones were not basaltic lava, but showed metamorphic layers, the kind that form only under extreme pressure and heat. Meaning once, the inside of Mars burned with intense heat, enough to transform rocks, their structure, color, and strength, everything. This sign suggests that perhaps Mars, too, had tectonic activity like Earth. Mountains rose, the ground trembled, and beneath the surface, there wasn't life, but there was movement. NASA's experts observed in the Neely Fosse region a network of fine cracks within rocks. Some cracks are so ancient that time has layered over them, yet their marks remain just like after an earthquake on Earth. Near those fractures, Perseverance found some crystals made of iron oxide and manganese. These elements form only when heat and pressure act together on a mineral surface. This discovery tells us that Mars's surface isn't just stone, it was once a living laboratory where time, pressure, and heat repeated the rarest processes of the cosmos. Meanwhile, the European Space Agency's Trace Gas Orbiter noticed strange activity beneath Mars's northern pole. Radar data showed some rocks bulging upward, as if gases were pushing from below. These gases may contain a mix of carbon dioxide and methane. And that's when scientists said, Mars is not completely dead yet. Meaning beneath Mars, there's still a breath, not of life, but of heat. A silent vibration hidden deep within the rocks. Now let's talk about those stones that NASA called time capsules. These rocks have stood on the Martian surface for billions of years. Each stone is a page, and each page an ancient tale. Some rocks contain iron dust, some have sulfur dioxide crystals, crystals that only form after volcanic eruptions. Meaning once, Mars had flowing lava, erupting mountains, and skies filled with ash. Then time passed, volcanoes fell silent, the surface cooled, and everything turned to dust. Yet these rocks still hold those secrets within. In their layers, the echoes of heat, sound, and explosions remain trapped. 
When scientific instruments scan these stones, the signals they emit are identical to those from Earth's ancient volcanic rocks. All this gives us one simple yet profound message. Mars is not a dead world, but a sleeping one. A planet that once lived with fire, quakes, and fury. And today, wrapped in the ashes of time, it silently tells its story. So next time you see a picture of Mars, don't just see a red planet. Imagine that within those stones are voices of millions of years. Maybe one day that silence will speak and reveal that on Mars, once something was.